Okay. All right, Greenwood Stocks, we are here with the long-awaited, highly anticipated Brocker, the biotech man. What's going on, dude? Nothing much, just here to do what we do. Yeah, hey, that's that's what I'm talking about. I mean, you know, my main thing when I started is just straight do 100% plus. So, you know, the things that I look at are, you know, can this does the stock have potential to, to make a, a huge move? That's that's what I'm all about. Hey, I like hitting singles, I like hitting doubles, but I really like the the life changing trade. So, um, man, just want to like I said, ch chop it up with you tonight and just kind of ask you first. You know, how how did you get started with stocks? You know, what how's that journey uh, been for you? Well, um, it really just got started just from me. I, honestly, I probably just watching movies and um my neighbor is involved in the stock market and does really well with it and i just you know i just was like why, why what am i doing just sitting around not <laughs> yeah doing something for myself that's really not that hard um and so i studied it i studied for like a year or so before i ever created a brokerage account or anything like that and then um just got some money together and decided to open an account and I uh, started playing with it. And that, that's pretty much how I got into it. And I just did it because, you know, I got, I've got goals and those goals require money. So <laughs> definitely, <laughs> so definitely man. that's my main reason. Got you. Well, um, yeah, I mean, similar to me, I'm, we're me and intrinsic. We're watching mad money, Jim Cramer, 15 years ago, everybody's going crazy. He's pushing the sell button. Bye, 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 sell, 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 sell. You know, mm -hmm. we know we know it's not all what what it seemed like it was, but you know, I mean, right. just buzz of being able to just say, hey, we're gonna sit home in front of the computer, trade stocks, and make a lot of money. Like, you know, what's better than that for any young per any old person, for that matter? Exactly. So, uh, yeah, cool, man. Sounds like you had some some humble beginnings, man. A lot of people just. Uh, throw up an account, throw throw five or ten thousand dollars in, lose it, blow it, and then and then try to try to correct it. But it sounds like you kind of took a more methodical approach uh, to it. Yeah, I started with uh, two hundred. Cool. Two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. So it, was, uh, it was really hard to you know build it up, but um, just taking some honestly, just taking small profits for a long time and. I got lucky with a couple things um, at the beginning that really boosted my account up. And, um, but like I said, like I've taken some pretty big losses and had to reevaluate strategies many times. And um, I've really gotten a pretty good strategy down now to where I'm pretty confident with myself. Yeah, man. And, and that, that's what, that's, that's what we've been reiterating. Uh, you know, what, what's your system? What's, what, I mean, for anybody, you know, what what is your system? What's what's going on with uh, with you know your approach to to the market? I mean, I'm talking in general, so that, that's what we try to stress and reiterate. And that's you know, even even uh, right now, um, you know, my main thing is getting the system down. And you can just kind of chime into your uh, to your to your biotech page, man. You've been you've been putting in work, man. And we we really appreciate it. Uh, so, hey, everybody, if you want to uh, come to Greenwood, you know, you're interested in biotechs, he has a great channel, uh, can kind of walk you through what we're looking at. Tell me what, why, why is, what's your passion for biotech all about? It just seems like you're, you, you get excited about the, and I, I get excited too, because anytime I see a stock move from $4 to $160, it's some kind of FDA approval or buy, but Tell, tell, tell me about your passion for, for biotech specifically. Well, I, um, well, a lot of my family is medical in the medical field. Gotcha. And um, I mean, it's no secret that if something gets FDA approval or reports good results from whatever they're working on, you know, it's, it, those, these biotechs, they, they explode pretty easily usually. Um, but, you know, I, I just love being able to help people. And a lot of this stuff is really helpful to people. And um, a lot of the ones that we've put out there are like first in class. There's, you know, there's no other drug that treats what they're treating. And um, 
I just I just like things that are really helpful to people and that aren't there already. Um, on top of the fact that these F, these biotechs, you know, if, if they do report good results or they get F, uh, get approved, then um, there's potential to help myself and a whole lot of other people like you and everyone in our Discord. Definitely, definitely, and like I said, we we appreciate it, man. I mean, you you put in that work and. And I mean, everybody that contributes, whether it's in the OTC, whether it's options, I mean, you know, we could all keep the information to ourselves, but, you know, I like to see people win. We all like to see people win. So that just makes it, the trading community um, better. Um, another question, how how are you making this? So I, I, know, I know you do a lot of research. We saw it in your Discord. Uh, we see that, you know, with, with what you tweet and, you know, the news and the research you do. How, how do you make this more of a higher, because there's no like high probability necessarily, but how do you make this more of a higher probability trade or investment versus just a gamble? Because I mean, sometimes they're, they're everywhere. Yeah, so um, what I usually do is I'll go on the FDA tracker, the FDA calendars, whatever, and I'll just go through what, what's, what's up for approval or denial, whatever, just whatever's got a decision up for that month. Um, and I'll just go through, look up every ticker, what they cost, whatever. Which, which, which websites? I mean, cause which website is that? Um, so the one I usually use, I think it's just called FDA tracker.com. Okay. Make sure I, let's see, I pull it up real quick. Yeah. It's just FDA tracker.com, which, um, it's sometimes not accurate. So I always double check. Um, Cause there's a couple, there's a couple of different ones. And honestly, if it, if it showed the calendar should pull up here, but uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, Boom. Like here we have, it says VCEL was today. Right. Uh, that was part of the Medi wound one as well. Like mm -hmm. uh, there's so like had it licensed to uh, with Medi wound. Right. Uh, yeah. I usually use this website and then I'll just like Google it. I'll type it in and be like, just, just to make sure that it's actually accurate because there's been times when, you know, either it didn't have something that was um, up for approval or it did and it had already happened before. So you always double check. Right. Um, but so once I, once I find that and I, I'll just do some research on the ones I, uh, the ones I like. And uh, after, if I, when, when I find the ones I like or I'm pretty confident in, I'll just go back to, their stock and uh i just kind of zoom it out on you know a week or maybe a little bit longer and i try to find the lowest point that it has traded at in the past six to ten days usually and that i'm a little bit more i'm a little bit unorthodox with it because you know most people are very technical with it but i just try to find the lowest point that it's been at recently with within the past week or so um and try to get it at that point or around that point as a starter position and uh slowly scale in um and honestly that has been super uh successful for me because uh as the hype builds with these things and i'm usually buying them like a week maybe two weeks out uh the hype's already kind of building at that point so it's kind of rare to be able to get it below the low that was a week ago you know what i mean yeah yeah um, but then I look for just a pattern and usually they follow like a pattern of like a lot of them follow the pattern of dipping in the morning. Right. And coming up in after hours and staying a little bit up there in the pre-market as well. So, you know, if you want, you can just continue to rinse and repeat with them or you can hold it up. And, and what I've seen, what I've really seen is that they, that last, uh, probably two days before the decision, they, they hit a nice little peak. Right. And you could just hold it through there and, and take a big profit or just keep rinsing and repeating and being safe with it. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, we see what W and I, in, in my swing, in my swing trades, I always say, Hey, it's a biotech, do your DD. <laughs> like this is always going to be at least medium risk, high reward. There's, you know, but what we've been looking at the last couple of weeks, because when you tweet, when you when you post these stocks, I'm like, man, every single one of these stocks is running up to the catalyst. They're running up to the date. So, 
you know, you can, and, 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 and that's a good point you made not too long ago, you know, you're trying to get this at the low, so you're making it even higher probability for you to be profitable in the trade. Yes, yeah. That's my main thing, you know. Sometimes uh, when I find them, they're, they're pretty high, and I'll just be like, no, nah, you know what, I'm going to wait. If it does come down to that point, then okay. Um, if not, then I'll just, you know, I'll just stay out. And if it gets approved, I'll make a quick day trade and scalp it. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm try to be patient. I try to be disciplined with it as well. I, I don't want to be too risky. Try to find that low and, and stick with it. Yeah. Now, did you call o ORPH? I can't, I can't remember. I, I think you were talking yeah. about it before it so ran. Yeah, I did. Um, but I also, I also, one of the first things I said was, I don't think this is going to get approved. Because, right, I remember that. Yeah, I, 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 it didn't meet any of its um, primary uh, results or key endpoints, primary or secondary. Um, and so I was like, not a chance this is getting approved. It's not American either. So, um, you know, I didn't, with the COVID restrictions, I don't know if they were able to travel there. So the, in my eyes, I was like, this is a no brainer. It's not getting approved, but you can play the hype up to it because there's always going to be hype with it. Um, you know, people just, some people don't do DD and just see, oh, this guy's, this one's got an FDA approval coming up. And so it builds it anyways. Um, sad to say I missed that huge short squeeze because um, I, I bought, I bought it at, as low as I could at $4 and like 90 cents or something. And uh, then I did some more DD and, and, and I was like, no way, this is not going to get approved. Right. And I think I sold it like the day before this and I didn't have any more day trades. And uh, I was, I don't even want to talk about, I was so mad. <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was a, it was a great freaking call though, because like I, I'm sit I remember that day because like I said, the, you know, one of my, I mean, you and me, everybody talks about that uh, from when we made that call, but I'm going to pull up, I'm going to pull up uh, ORPH. You, I see you start talking about it uh, first on the 7th before it went crazy. Um, let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah. And you see, you definitely said, let me, sh let me, sh let me, uh, squeeze over to there uh you definitely said it was not getting approved which is why it was crazy. can you see my screen yeah yeah i mean you you said it didn't make the endpoints it did did not meet endpoints all of that you know so you said israel base and all that so i mean yeah you're talking about on the seventh which like i said i always like to you know, give credit where credit is due. Even even if you even if you didn't stick around to the bitter end, <laughs> and and it got real bitter. Uh, if you were holding the seventy seven, and uh, it came down to nine. But I mean, even even with that call, man, that's just to have these on your radar is it can be life changing. You know. Yeah, and and I will say this also. I did play it after the seventy seven day because uh, it immediately started following a pattern. Right. Which is, uh, literally 6 a.m. If it would around 6 to 7 a.m., it would find a low after that day, and then it would it would jump up right at market open, and and it would halt. And so I scalped it like three times, just just following that trend uh, for like three days. It did that. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I'm I'm, I'm looking at it right now. The next day, the next day, it went from 77 to nine halted up to 14 mm -hmm. and then the next day well it took a break a couple of days later uh spiked down to 10 halted up and hit 22 yeah that was a good one i actually got in on that one and held it till 18 and then uh on the 23rd got in uh it went down to six dollars and ran up to nine i think you know they yep so yeah man just being able to find those patterns really um that was pretty i mean i was pretty safe with that after after it did that squeeze because once something gets so volatile like that it's just that that's just not something i usually like to deal with pretty 
pretty <laughs> pretty risky there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go and show people real quick uh, on Finviz to let them see. Hey, uh, this is how. So I mean, if you got if if you're looking at Finviz, uh, or say you want to you say you want to scan Biotex, just trying to give people a little a little advice. All you gotta do is type in the Biotech or go to the industry screener. Uh, hit biotech and you can basically see any biotech uh, that's out there. So, hey, free money right here. You can thank me later, but you know, scanning is is a, uh, you know, you just gotta roll up your sleeve and and, and do the work. Um, yep. You can find a lot of undervalued stuff, and then when you, once you combine that with due diligence and uh, and PDUFA calendars. I mean, like I said, you you're literally looking at a life changing trade that you can make. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, that like I said, that that was really fun. I remember you. I remember you saying, "Hey, this is not going to get approved." And then I'm like, "I'm like, so why? <laughs> when did it get approved? Why is it running?" And you're like, "No, <laughs> I don't know why it's running." Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they targeted. Well, obviously, because it was. It could run up that hard, but um, other than that, there was really no reason for that one to be targeted. Yeah, let me look at ORPH. Let me look at that real quick and see. Yeah, so I mean, the float, the the short, it was only two percent short. And of course, uh, I'm looking at Finviz now. Of course, that that can be off a lot. You know, they they don't update shorts and and. Uh, in short positions all the time, but even if it was a small short position, uh, you know, it's, it's worth squeezing to, you know, some chat or some pump group or whatever the case may be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but man, Hey, we appreciate it. I uh, wanted to make this short and sweet, give people just a little bit of insight into, you know, how you can find these five baggers, 10 baggers, whatever baggers you're, you're looking at. And then, you know, how to even play them, you know, after on, on big pullbacks and how to get value from from whatever sector. So, you know, we, we're talking about biotechs tonight. Hey, you know, somebody you, you could be looking at industrials or retail or or whatever the hot sector is. Obviously, with the COVID-19, uh, biotechs went crazy. So like for a year and a half, besides for a couple of breaks, you know, biotechs were just running and running and running, but, you know, tech stocks and, and all these other industries are going to be big too. You just have to take the same principles, do your due diligence and apply it. So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, somebody can make a million dollars from this and come join our discord and contribute and, you know, keep the, keep the well flowing, you know? Definitely. Awesome, man. Hey, well, we appreciate it. Thanks for everything. Once again, you do. And uh, for everybody listening, we will catch you on the green side. Y'all have a good one. Yes, sir.